So hi everyone, this is Jessica from Team It Squad, coming at you with a 100% walkthrough for the indie title, Sanity of Morris. So from this point onwards, there's a full spoiler warning in effect, because I am going to show you every aspect of the game, and all cutscenes and dialogue will be included. So the game is set across three levels in total, uh, and following this video is going to get the full 1000G. There are four types of collectibles that you're going to need to find across the game. So we have the timeline collectibles, uh, which are things like documents, uh, tapes, all of this kind of stuff. And there are some generic collectibles as well, which are Easter eggs to previous games of this developer. So things like uh, Woven, uh, uh, some additional collectibles linked to that game. Now, it's going to take you roughly two hours to beat. It's not particularly hard, some areas are a little bit tricky and do require some stealth, but other than that it's relatively straightforward. So let's get this show on the road. So this first section of the game is primarily driving and dialogue. Um, I'm not going to talk too much over the top of this. Um, just at some point you're going to be prompted to push the A button, just do that when it appears on the screen so you don't crash into the deer. Now he asks me to come over? Giving me a confusing voicemail that makes no sense at all? Good thieves finally lost it? Early onset dementia? <sighs> he probably couldn't handle the retirement on his own. Should have thought about that when you left me and mom, dad. I haven't seen a living soul on this road for at least an hour. I know Green Lake is in the middle of nowhere, but you'd think there'd be some traffic coming up the road. Hank sounded nearly unhinged in his voicemail. He better not be sick or something. I mean, he's a bit of a bastard, but he is my dad. Uh, research facility where Hank used to work. Should be a left turn coming up soon. I'm nearly there. We'll see what the fuss is about. this guy come from? What does he think he's to- Ah! Hey! What the, what the fuck? Are, are you- are you trying to kill me? Shit! Shit, oh shit, shit, shit! Ah! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Okay, so after your car crash, you're going to be trapped in your car and you're going to need to get out. Um, I recommend at this time as well, if you haven't already, adjusting the brightness settings on your game. This is a very dark game uh, and it makes it very difficult to see. But you're going to need to press A to release your seatbelt and then hold up on the D-pad to crawl out of the car. Once you're out of the car, you'll need to press X or square, depending on your platform you're playing on. This is going to turn on your flashlight. And once you've got that flashlight on, you're going to be prompted to zoom in. So you're going to need to hold down the right trigger or R2 if you're on PlayStation. Once you've done that, it's going to give you another prompt to toggle the flashlight off. So press X or square. And you're going to press B to crouch to hide away from the security guards. The target has crashed his car. We'll confirm the death of Moore at the sun. Situation control team out. Move your ass, John. Okay, so at this stage I actually go into my settings and adjust my brightness um, because it's too dark. I've realized a little bit too late that I should have done it before. But um, head into the menu, guys, and I recommend that you should adjust this because it makes it a lot easier to see what's going on. Um, but now that you're in control of the character, we're going to need to to keep going forward. So we're going to push on to your dad's house. So turn around and you want to make your way up the hill. Keep your flashlight out so you can see what's going on. Uh, and eventually you're going to come up to a road where you're going to need to do some more of these uh, on-screen prompts to escape the, the guards. Green Lake. Am I 
father's house. <laughs> Maybe I can get there. I'm not seen. Who are those guys? Why would they do such a thing? Why? All right, John, walk now. Analyze later. Now to escape these guys you're going to need to tap up on the d-pad lots of times to get away uh, and when you're prompted to crouch down and turn off your flashlight you'll need to do that also. So at this point tap up and this is going to cause the character to sprint. You'll then get prompted to um, I'd say crouch I think it is next. Yep. Well the character automatically crouches and then you're going to press X to turn off your flashlight. The guards will run past you and they'll ignore you. Uh, but this then allows you to progress forward. Once you're back in control, um, the next part is not overly complicated. It is pretty much just a straight walk to a house. So we need to follow the main path along until you get to your dad's house. Research Institute. Look at those lights. Wait, those men in suits talked about Morris's son. Hank worked at the Institute. His voicemail. It, is it connected? Is Hank okay? God, I can't think straight. Keep on walking, John. The house can't be far. house. Something's off. The lights are out. Something happened here. This is gonna be bad. Uh, okay, okay. Start thinking, John. Keep your cool. Build a case. Make a theory. Write it down. You can do this. The voicemail. And now this is where all the fun stuff kind of begins. It's a bit more interactive. So you'll now be at the dad's house and in front of you, you're going to, sorry, you're going to get a prompt to look at your journal. Press the left trigger. Uh, this is going to show you where all of your collectibles are. Um, just make sure that your journal matches up to my journal as we go through. I'll show you the journal uh, periodically as we go through. So you're going to see the first collectible on the timeline, which is automatically given to you. If you click on it, it's going to play back an audio file that kind of explains what's going on. You don't have to listen to the entire audio file for the collectible to count. As long as it appears in the book, you are okay. Um, yep. Now listen, you must visit me. I need to take you fishing in the lake for some big fish. I know just the spot. It might be in the dark at first, but there's some amazing stuff to see there. It had me quite captivated these past two weeks. I've got some nice pictures of it I want to show to you. Let me think. Yes, when you come to the house, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you'll brighten up the place. Home is where the hearth is, right? You'll need to get into the groove of things. Listen to some old classics. After which I'll have you do a number of things. I've got a whole schedule laid out for you. You'll see there's more to Green Lake than you first thought. I haven't forgotten of the night so make sure you bring a flashlight with you i have to go now i have guests coming over soon I have to prep the house we'll call you later come to me son drive safely okay so now we need to start inspecting things as we go through i find it's a bit weird you have to have the flashlight on to interact with something anything that's got a red outline on it is something that you can click on so i start off by clicking the mailbox just to get a bit more information uh, make your way over to the back and you want to click on this very large RV uh, and then you want to turn around and we're going to follow the wall around to the front door. You'll see that it is cautioned off and taped off. You can inspect this also. Uh, but keep following the building to the left and then when you get the option to turn right we're going to do that here. Uh, and on the floor ahead of you you are going to see a garden gnome. I also inspect a canoe for some reason. But you want to pick up the garden gnome off the floor. 
Once you've done that, you want to look to the bottom and you're going to find the key underneath the gnome and you want to actually click A to take that out. Once you're done with the gnome, put it down. And once you've done that, you want to click on the door behind you to open it up and we can make our way into the building. So straight ahead of you, you want to make your way across to the table and you're going to find a film reel on the table. This is one of the collectibles for the game. This is going to give you a photograph. So if you head into your book and your journal, uh, you'll see it's something from around the 1980s kind of period. And it's a picture of your dad and your mother. Once you've got that, you want to make your way over to the fridge and we're going to open this one up. And inside the fridge, you're going to find a picture that is torn apart at the bottom. Pick this one up as you're going to need it to solve a puzzle later on. And then once you have that, we want to turn to the right and we want to make our way into the room. We want to head over to the fireplace and in the fireplace, you're going to find a fuse. Together, the things in my journal will start to make sense. And then from that fuse, we want to turn to the right and we want to make our way to this um, gramophone that is in the corner. And this is going to give us the clue to answer a puzzle upstairs. Um, you don't need to remember it. The character will remember it automatically, which is very useful. So once you've done that, turn around and make your way across the bookcase. And on the bookcase, you're going to find your next collectible which is a set of documents. And you can read those if you head into your timeline. And once you've done that, we want to exit to the door on your left. And just in the corner over here, you're going to find the fishing rod, which you'll want to click on, which was linked to some of the clues from the audio log in the beginning of the game. Once you've done that, we want to turn to our right and we are going to head downstairs into the basement. So make your way down. And as you come down into this area, you want to look to your left and you'll find a audio tape on top of the bin. This is your next collectible for this area. And I pushed the wrong button trying to show you the journal. This is Hank Morris, December 2004. Now from that last collectible, we want to make our way over to the table that's next to it. And underneath it, you're going to find a weird looking screwdriver. screwdriver. Once you have this one, you want to turn around and you want to look at the fuse box that is on the wall. So open that one up. And then in here, we're going to want to place in the, uh, the fuse that we found in the fire. So click on the section that is red and you want to turn the two fuses to the right. Once you've done that, you want to make your way back upstairs. At the top of these stairs, take a left and then left again straight away. And you want to go up these stairs even more. You'll notice every time the light blinks, something changes. Uh, and enter the room at the top of the stairs on the left. And on the floor, you're going to see some boxes that have got paint on them. Line up the paint and you're going to get the number six, which is one of the clues to solve the puzzles. I look at these boxes at this angle, it looks like there's a number. A six. Now that you have that, exit out of the room and make your way across to the other side. And you want to open up the door. And then as you come in, you want to make your way over to this cabinet just here. And we want to click on the document that's just there. Uh, and then you want to look down and you want to pull out the bath plug. And that's going to drain the bath. And at the bottom of the bath, you're going to find the number seven, which you'll need to click on. Uh, and that's going to give you another clue for the, the puzzle to get to the attic. From here, you want to turn around and you actually want to close the door that you just came in through. And you want to open up the first aid cabinet just here. And you're going to find the next number. And then just below that, you are going to find your next collectible. Four. A recorded tape. Pass my prime, my ass. 
Now that you have this, you want to exit back out of the bathroom and you want to take a left. Okay, and once you're out of that room, we want to make our way down the corridor and enter the first door on the left. And as you come in on the wall, you want to inspect the poster that is just here. And then on your right, you're going to find your next collectible, which is a, another photograph. This image is important. And now that you have that, we want to turn around and we want to exit out of this room. So make your way back into the main hallway. Take a left and we want to enter the door on the end. And as you come in, you want to go over to the photo frame in the left corner and you want to interact with it to get the number eight for the next puzzle. Eight. Now that you have this, we want to turn around and we want to make our way out of the bedroom door and onto the balcony. And as you come out onto the balcony, turn right and look to the floor for your next collectible. Recorded tape. You'll never guess what I just found. <laughs> this is Hank Morris, July 2000. Okay, now that you have this, we want to enter back into the bedroom. As you go through the bedroom, take a left and go out and immediately look at the door on the left hand side. Interact with the keypad and that's going to open up this door, which was previously locked. The character will automatically enter the numbers. Make your way up the stairs for a small cutscene. Okay, Hank. I think you wanted me to go here. So what is it you've been hiding away in the attic? Are you here? You'll get prompted to press A to switch the lights on and that's going to cause the vines in the room to move out of the way. What is this? Oh my god. It's some kind of freaky plant thing. Hank! And now that you've done this, you want to look to your left and you want to grab off of the wall at the top of the stairs the woven postcard, and that will bag yourself an achievement. It's also a reference to the other game, Woven, which is out on Xbox One. Uh, if you actually scan the QR code, it does take you to their website as well. So it actually works. Uh, be able bag yourself achievement for this one. Once you've done this, you want to turn around and we want to make our way over to the wall that is behind us. And on that wall, we're going to find a whole bunch of kind of... Uh, Reports, you want to inspect these reports quickly. Oh, God, what was that? Breathe, John. Breathe. Remember your training? Adrenaline does some crazy stuff to the body. You're spooked, that's all. Oh, my God, what was that? Okay. Once you've done that, we want to crouch down apparently, uh, make your way around this cabinet, this is in the middle, and on the floor between that and the vine, you're going to find a, another collectible. This talks about aliens. I should keep that in a separate timeline, keep facts from fiction. So you're now going to get introduced to a new mechanic, and that mechanic is the ability to use the light to remove the vines. So inspect the purple crystal uh, and you'll see this vine kind of going across here. And what you need to do is you need to press the right trigger or R2 to focus your flashlight uh, on, sorry, Y to focus your flashlight uh, and that will cause the vine to move out of the way when you shine it on the purple crystal. Now that you've done that, by the computer you're going to find your next collectible which is an audio tape. Once you've done that, you want to inspect the computer that's just to the right of it. Some kind of map? The location is marked. Bring remote. What remote? Is it here somewhere? 
Okay, once you're done with the computer, you want to turn around. Um, for some reason, I look at the pictures on the wall. Turn around and you're going to find a note on the box which you're going to want to inspect. And once you've done that, make your way further to the back. And at the back of the room, you're going to find a document on the box, which is the next collectible that you'll need. You'll also bag yourself achievement for finding all of the collectibles in level one. I'm writing them as a separate timeline in my journal. Now that you have this, you want to turn around. Um, I get a bit stuck here on some of the stuff on the floor. But turn around and make your way over to the left of the computer and open up this box just here and inside the box you are going to find a button thing so pick this one up a for something. and this button is uh, useful to you make your way back to the computer and click on it and then this is going to solve a part of the puzzle okay. but now you need to move quickly as you're about to get chased potentially by the uh, green guard people that you've been seeing throughout the game so once you've done that, make your way to this exit chute, click on it, and you will exit through the garbage chute before you get caught. So once you've gone through the garbage chute, you're going to make your way forward eventually to this fence. You'll see that there's guards in the area that you're going to need to escape from. So make your way forward, and eventually you're going to come up to this fence just here, uh, and you're going to need to climb over. It'll do it automatically for you. Press A to hop over. And then you're going to mash up on the D-pad like you did before. And this will keep you running. When you go down, toggle your flashlight off by pressing X. The guys will run past you and you'll go to the right and you'll go up. Press A to climb up. And then they're not going to see you from this point onwards. So now we are going to enter a bit of a stealth sequence. So you'll see that the enemies will give off like a, a beam of light or kind of like a field of vision. You need to stay out of that field of vision and you need to avoid shining your flashlight into that field of vision, otherwise they will find you. Um, it's actually very easy to dodge. You can actually sometimes crouch down and just get away with it. So once you're down at the bottom of the hill, you want to dodge this first guy that's just in front of you. He hasn't quite spotted you yet. So crouch down and you want to make your way to the right and you're going to go around this big rock. You'll want to go past the van that I thought was a person uh, and go underneath the bridge. Don't worry about the guy at the top, he's not going to see you yet. And you'll keep following this path forwards and you're going to take a right. There's going to be a guy in front of you. Use the rock in front of you to your advantage. And when he's gone to the left hand side of the screen, sneak by him. So just stay down, keep moving forwards, don't turn your flashlight on. Um, and now as you come to the end of this section, you want to take a left, follow it around, and the same guy is going to be looking out. Wait for him to move out of the way and continue down towards the uh, underneath the bridge. And you want to stay crouched here and then when he goes back up the hill you want to make your way underneath the bridge. Look to the left so you can spot him and then make your way over to the far right hand side uh, and he will go past you again eventually. So start edging your way up the hill. Uh, and wait for him to move and then you want to continue up the hill. Once you're up that hill you want to take a left and you want to cross over the bridge that he was kind of guarding uh, and make your way across to the other side. So at the end of the bridge you want to take a left and you want to go down the hill that is in front of you and keep following it around until you reach another purple stone. More plants. Once you're at the stone, focus the flashlight on it and that's going to remove the vines that are in front of you and you want to drop down to end the level. That smell. <coughs> no, 
That's my way out. Shit. Oh, good God, the smell. Oh, this. Oh, this isn't happening. This isn't happening. Oh, God. Calm down, John. Find out where you are. These plants and crystals are just like my dad stored in his attic. So he's been here? Hank! So we are now in the second level of the game. This one is slightly longer and slightly more trickier, but once you're in control, you want to make your way uh, across to this kind of far corner over here. And you're going to see this purple thing in front of you that you need to activate um, as it's going to give you clues to Hank's whereabouts. Like a flower or a, uh, something. It's pulling me in. No! I feel dizzy. <laughs> Is that Hank? Hey, wait! Stop! I I'm here, damn it! Hank! I'm seeing things again. Is this place even real? Hank? Is that you? What is that? Oh god, no! Oh and god. you'll come into contact with alien life. So from god, this point no onwards, way. the character does a little bit that's automatic, but you're going to want to turn around and you're going to want to run from this thing. It behaves like the humans. Once you're in its line of sight, it will spot you. As long as you stay low and get to the ground, you're fine. So as you enter this next room that the cutscene forces you into, crouch down and you want to go behind the pillar just a little bit so you're out of sight and you'll let the creature go past. Now that the coast is clear, you want to look to your left by the pillar and slightly up to the top. You'll see an orange orb kind of hanging about there. Take out your flashlight and you want to focus the flashlight on that one and that's going to cause a vine to extend. You don't need it right now, but you'll use it later. Now you want to make your way to the back right hand side of the room where you'll see this stone with lots of alien writing on it. And in front of that, you're going to find your first collectible of this level. Recorded tape. This is Hank, October 28th, in the year 20. Is that some sort of language? What the hell is all of this? Once you have that, you want to turn around and then you want to enter the tunnel that is on the right where the alien went to. You're going to make your way in and we're going to encounter the same alien again. He is patrolling this room. Uh, sadly, unlike last time, he doesn't run away from this bit. Um, so as you make your way into this room, for me, he was on the left. You can see his field of light. Do not shine your flashlight into that one and do not enter that beam of light because he will spot you. But we need to make our way into the room and we want to wait for him to kind of move around the pillar and you want to make your way to the other side of this wall that is on the right hand side. So as he moves around, just you have to kind of play it by ear. He could be in a different spot for you. Just take your time. It's a stealth scene. Um, but once that alien tentacle thingy has moved, go to the other side of the pillar, turn around and on the floor, you're going to see another orange crystal and you'll want to shine your flashlight on this one. Just make sure that you're not going to shine it into the beam of light of the alien. So take that out and you want to focus that and you'll see here that I nearly make that mistake. The alien walks by me <laughs> and then I shine the light onto the thing. Uh, it's a bit of a dodgy cut because he does actually get me. But then make your way to that vine that was newly released and you want to climb up the, the vine as far as you can and eventually you're going to come to this tunnel that is in the roof. You want to enter that tunnel uh, and you want to start following that through. Now for this part you just need to follow the tunnel to the end. You can get stuck in the wall like I did. A um, little bit buggy here but it's still doable. But make your way to the end of the tunnel and you'll be at the vine that you kind of extended earlier. You see the pod thing on the right. And now we need to make our way across that vine. So look to the left. Follow it across 
Uh, I edge very slowly because I'm absolutely terrible at keeping my balance on this kind of thing. Uh, and I really want to go through the stealth section again. Uh, so follow your way up and then you'll reach this door just here. But you need to look in the grass, you're going to find this purple squishy thing. That is the key to the door to open it up. So once you've got this one, make your way to the door and you want to pop it into this kind of placeholder thingy to the right of the door and you'll want to shine your torch on it so focus it uh, and that will open up the door for you to move forward why isn't it opening okay so follow the corridor to the next me? room calm down john think carefully this takes me in even deeper i can't go back either i need to get the heck out of this place somehow now as you come into this room you want to stop at the top here because there's an alien that is down on the bottom floor here uh, he moves around I don't think he's on my screen just yet but eventually he comes in you need to drop down and you want to make your way over to this pink pod here to see where Hank went so make your way over no. click on it oh just advise make sure you use this particular piece of woody style thing as cover from the alien that's patrolling the area as you can see him come around where is he going and then we need to make oh, our way around to kind of the left hand side of where Hank was going into so unfortunately I hit a bit of a sticking spot here and I do get caught so apologies for the dodgy cut but once it's all clear and the alien is out of sight and not going to get you so when he makes his way up to the top of the hill you want to head down to kind of where he's just coming from but on the right hand side to crawl down the hill and you want to turn around and you want to look up and you'll see a purple thing at the top shine your flashlight directly on this one uh, hold it down for long enough until it actually goes away and don't do what I do. So once that's hidden, drop your flashlight down and make your way up to the top of the hill. So get out of sight of the alien again. Uh, and as you make your way back up to the top, look to the left and above that door you're going to see another purple crystal. Shine your flashlight on this one from the top here. And once you've done that, you're going to want to make your way down to the newly opened hatch. Now, you need to be cautious here because the alien is still patrolling. But when the moment kind of comes in, we want to get out of here as best as we can. So when he moves out of the way and goes to the, to the left, you want to walk forward and you want to drop down and you want to continue straight ahead. And in front of you, you'll see a hole that is just kind of behind this vine here in that right corner. So make your way down and enter. It's just visions of Hank. Nothing more. I, <laughs> I must be losing it. So now as you're going through this tunnel, um, you eventually come to a bit of a crossroad style area. Um, in this scenario, you just actually need to keep going forward. Um, do not go right just yet because you're going to miss a collectible otherwise. And as you come down to the end just here, exit out and you want to turn to the left. And as you exit to the left on the floor, you are going to find your next audio tape. This is Hank. I've found writing. Now that you have this, you want to make your way back into the tunnel. Uh, and as you re enter that tunnel, you want to make your way forward. Uh, and when the opportunity to turn left comes, this is one that we're going to want to take. So make your way down the hill or get stuck in the wall like I do somehow. Uh, make your way down the hill and then it follows around to the right and just after that it's going to be a left turn into another corridor and you want to keep making your way forward here and you're entering up in this kind of like open intersection on your left you're going to find your next collectible which is a document documents hold important information Okay, so once you have your document, you want to look to your 
right and on the floor you're gonna shine your light down and you're actually gonna see the rules for getting through the next tunnel um, but it's effectively it's a maze and it's a booby trapped maze with a giant killer vine so make your way to the end of this tunnel and as you kind of come up you're gonna see that this vine is kind of rushing backwards and forwards in the next area it's big so make your way to the end and now you need to wait for the vine to pass and then retract again once it's retracted walk out of the tunnel and you want to stand up and you want to turn to the left and you need to move quickly here so when it's gone stand up and you want to move as quickly as possible follow the corridor all the way around to the left and you'll come up to this intersection here step in and the vine will now pass you again and you want to wait for it to retract once more Once that's retracted, make your way in and you want to continue down the corridor and at the end you'll see this tunnel just here. You want to crouch down and you want to enter and you want to follow the pipe to the end of this section. In this room you want to walk forward and on the floor amongst all of these kind of this image is uh, sea spout thingies you're going to find your next collectible. Now from this collectible shine your light on the floor and you want to follow the footprints across to this wall just here. It's going to tell you to look up. So you want to look up to the roof as far back as you kind of can. You're going to see this orange thing on the roof in the distance. Focus your flashlight on this and it's going to cause a long vine to extend and come all the way down to you. Now that you've done this, you want to make your way up to the top of the vine. So hop on, or struggle like I do. You have to go right to the very end. Make your way all the way up to the top. Shoot. Another creature. I must get past it. How do I get it to move? Okay, so after the little cutscene, we want to start off by shining our flashlight at the computer console that is on the right hand side and shine it only on the right crystal. Do not shine it on the left crystal currently. Once you've done that, you want to make your way into the room that has just opened up and you want to look to the floor and you're going to find a stone tablet. language on it. Now that you have that stone tablet, you want to exit out and now you need to make your way across to the other side, but you'll see there's an alien patrolling the area. Use the pillar to the right of the circle to your advantage to stop him from spotting you. Uh, so just go around the pillar and then you want to look to your left and you're going to see this console. Make your way over to the console. I had to shine my flashlight on it for it to work, uh, but you want to install the stone tablet just here. And then you want to shine a light on the right hand crystal. Uh, apologies for the cut here because I get caught. And I use the console just to stay out of his line of sight. Uh, but once he's not looking towards the newly opened door, you want to enter the door that is on the right hand side of the console where you've just installed the tone stone tablet. Now as you enter here, at the back of the room you're going to find one of those pink blobby orb things again. Pick that one up because you're going to need it to open up a door. Those pods. Now that you've got that, turn around and make your way to the edge of the door and we're going to need to shine our flashlight to the far console and to the left purple crystal. That's going to open up the door on the left hand side and it's going to cause the alien to move out of the room because he's now noticed the other door is open. Once he's moved into that other room, we'll be able to access the door that he's blocking. Uh, it just takes a little while to get out of the way on my end. So 
So once he's moving, make your way over to the door on the left. You want to drop the purple orb into the, the door frame just here. And you want to focus your flashlight on it. Don't do what I do, just look at the door. The focused flashlight, that's going to open it up. And you want to enter the door as quickly as possible because he comes back quite quickly. And you want to follow this down to the end of the corridor. Now once you're in this room you need to take a, a whiff of the purple thingy. No. Do not follow Hank in this case because if you exit out through the door you Tank. will die. He's the aliens will get you. Running away. Why? God, it feels so real. So instead turn around and you want to look at the purple light that's just behind you and focus your flashlight on it. That's going to cause the cable to, sorry, the tentacle to retract. God, hurts. Once that it's gone you want to turn around and make your way up to the, t to the top of the hill but take a left and you want to duck down you want to enter this room. You want to follow this tunnel all the way up and you're going to see another tunnel that is just on your left hand side. You'll want to enter this one and you want to follow it to the end. Once you've finished the cutscene, look to your left and you're going to find on the floor another film reel collectible. Now that you have that collectible, we want to turn around and look to the left uh, and we want to go back into the corridor that we've just come from. So to your left of the collectible, enter the room and you want to make your way down the slope. Now as you come into here we want to look to our right and on the back of this kind of blob of green stuff shine your flashlight uh, to extend another vine. Make your way down to that vine and you want to follow that vine out and you want to stay on top of it and climb up to the next level. Now that you're at the top, we want to enter the corridor and we want to make all the way down to the very end. And as we enter this area just here, we actually just want to keep going straight forward for the time being. So ignore everything else in this room uh, and you want to make your way to the end of this corridor and on the floor at the end you're going to find your next collectible. A recorded tape. This is Hank. I found another. Okay, now that we have that collectible, we want to turn around and we want to make our way back into that room. This time we want to take a right and head down to the bottom of the slope. And in the left hand corner, you're going to find another uh, door key thing. And once you've got that, you'll want to turn around. And you'll want to huff the plants again. No! It's day 13 of my expedition. I'm using their tech to record my progress in case of plan B. <coughs> the next chamber seems to be their headquarters. And the lower half is a, a console that they obsess over. It's part of their <coughs> master plan, if you will. So I'm, I'm going to disable it. I'll pull out its control pad and hide it under their noses on the top floor. It should create the diversion I need to slip into the ducts. I'm close to reaching the exit of the ship. Okay, once you're done chatting to Ghost Hank, you want to enter the corridor and you want to make your way down to the end. And you're going to want to put the uh, door key thingy into the holder and focus your flashlight on it again to open up the next room. Somehow. Now this part is quite difficult. There's a lot of aliens in here. 
So take your time and go slow. We need to start this off by going over to the left hand ramp in the corner. This is the one I found easiest to use, but I did die a lot here. Make your way to the top, stay crouched, keep your flashlight away so that uh, end up with uh, certain situations. But you need to make your way around the crystals, underneath this vine, while staying aside, out of sight of the, any of the aliens. They could be at any point on the map when you come up here, they may not be in the same. Keep hanging to the left and you want to make your way up the ramp, uh, or slide back down the ramp like I do somehow. Make your way up the ramp. And as you kind of come up into this area, there are normally two aliens kind of patrolling this bit. Um, I get a little bit lucky. Make your way to the end console and you're going to find the Record next tape. audio tape here. Turn around and you want to make your way behind the computer console and you're going to find a tablet on the floor. Pick that up. Um, and I'm going to quickly also check the log because I didn't really want to stay there because the game doesn't actually pause when you're in your actual inventory. This is Hank. Now that we've done this, we want to exit back out and go down. But again, be careful. It is very busy in this area. If you die, it's going to respawn you behind this computer. So wait for the aliens to get out of sight. And you want to make your way out to the right. And as you've head out to the right, you want to make your way down the slope that you used to get up earlier. Just staying crouched and low to the ground. And then we're going to want to make our way over to that purple crystal when we get the chance. Now you actually want to go to the left of the crystal, not to the right like I try. I get in a bit of a flap here because I was trying to rush to get away from the aliens. Uh, go to the left and then down to the right that way, it's easier. Um, but once you hit the bottom, we want to turn to the left and we want to go under the computer area where we were just a second ago. And in this area, as you enter, you will find a command console or whatever it is. Shine your light on it again and drop the plaque you found from upstairs into it. That's going to trigger an alarm and it's going to cause folks to leave the room, making it safer for you to go back upstairs. So once they've exited, what you want to do is actually shine your flashlight on the purple crystal above the console. And that's going to cause the big vine to move out of the way. Once you've done that, you want to make your way back up to the top. But be sure to let the aliens exit first of all. Okay, now that we have this all clear, exit to the right and you want to make your way across to the walkway um, where that large green vine is again. Make your way back up to the top or slightly ever so slightly side off the edge. Keep going all the way up. Don't worry about the red lights, they're not aliens this time. Once you're at the top, take a left and you want to go up to the top here and you're going to see a big kind of green gassy environment. And as you come into this area, you'll need to shine this your light. It, uh, actually, no, it's a cutscene. Ignore me. The aliens, the heart of this ship, hidden underground. They've been observing us for decades, judging us even. Don't even think for one second. Our government doesn't know about it because they're right here in town. Much closer than you think. The Institute. It all comes back to the Institute. It's a front for a secret government facility. God, I've worked at the Institute for 14 years without seeing it. But I swear, there's a secret base underneath headquarters. Underneath Green Lake. Close to this ship. Coincidence? I think not. Well, the hell with them all. I'm getting out of here and I'll expose the truth. I've found the ship's schematics. The pipeline in this chamber will lead me to the exit. It's going to be a tricky path. The tunnels are dangerous. John, you're tracing my footsteps, meaning Plan A is a goner. You are Plan B. Listen. You mustn't fail me now. I need you to do this. <laughs> God, 
Who's to say you're coming at all? Why would you? I'm on my own. I always have been. You're wrong. I am here, risking my life. But where the hell are you? <laughs> Calm down, John. Find that exit of his. Once that cutscene is over, we're going to need to get out of this area, so make your way back down the same ramp that you came up, but at the bottom of this ramp you are now going to find a tunnel that you can enter, so make your way down and go on in. Now we're going to be faced with the same uh, deadly vine scenario that we were in earlier, so once that vine has passed you, what we're going to do is we're going to take a right this time and we're going to follow the corridor to the end. So we're going to go towards the vine this time. So once that's retracted, step out into the tunnel and you want to look to your right and you want to make your way down to the very end of that tunnel. And you want to follow it to the left uh, and as you come down you're going to find a crystal where you need to shine your light. Okay, now that we've got that done, we want to turn around and we're going to make our way back down the corridor and uh, just look to the roof because this is going to show you where the, the vine is coming in and out. You'll see a hole. Now here you just want to wait a moment because you're going to want for that vine to pass again uh, to allow you to go forward. Now once that's done, you want to make your way forward and you want to head into the left hole, the one that you entered for, just for a bit of cover for the time being. So crouch down and look back into the corridor and wait for the vine to pass one more time. Now that you've done that, you want to exit to the left and you want to make your way up the hill. And as you're coming up the hill, you're going to see another tunnel that is just on your right and you're going to want to enter this one. Now you're going to want to make your way to the end of this tunnel and as you enter this area you want to look to your right and you want to follow this around and on the floor in front of you you're going to find your next film collectible this or photo collectible. And now that you have this, you want to look to the wall. It's going to give you a clue to stop at the purple crystal. So make your way back into the tunnel and we want to follow that tunnel down to the end. You need to wait for the all clear from the vine uh, from earlier just so you can resynchronize. So wait for that to pass. Once that's passed, you want to exit to the right and you want to go up the hill. And do not go to the left this time, you want to stand to the right of the purple crystal. So what's going to happen here is the vine is actually going to go straight to that weird orangey crystal on the wall, uh, as opposed to coming to you. Now there is a second vine in operation here that comes from the corridor that is straight ahead. So you're going to want this one to pass out of the way. So it's going to go to the crystal, once it retracts, make your way forward. And as you're kind of coming around the corridor, you want to go up and up some more. And then there's a, another little tunnel just on your right here to crouch down and enter this one. And you want to walk forward through this tunnel. I made it. Damn you, Hank. What were you thinking leading me into that? Uh, once you've done that, 
and you're out of that tunnel, you want to look to your right, stay crouched, and you want to make your way all the way down the, the slope. We're going to have to escape from one of the aliens in a second, so as you get to the bottom just here, it's going to come at you. Um, and once it comes at you, you're going to be prompted to do some stuff on the screen, or watch vines disappear. Here. So this fella is now going to make his way up the, the hill. Oh my God, Once you see this guy, the game's going to turn around and you're going to need, need to hide. hide. So follow the on-screen prompt to hide into this container just here. And then toggle your flashlight off. And you're actually going to get moved to a completely different location. What is this? It's moving? No, no, stop! Stop! Get me out of this thing! No, no, let me out of here! God, no, come on! No! No! Let me out! God! We went through a tunnel. There's something. It was horrible. Oh, you're okay now, John. Breathe. Once that is over, you want to step out of your machine and look to the left. You'll see one of the orangey orbs down in the distance. Focus your flashlight on it, and that's going to bring up a vine for you to escape. There's also another one off in the distance, which you can address now if you want to. But make your way down this vine and follow it all the way around. Where did it bring me? Am I still on track? And as you get to this end of this vine, on the floor ahead of you, you're just going to find your next film collectible. You want to pick that one up, and then you also want to shine your light on the orange orb that is just by that collectible. Once you've done that, you want to step onto this vine and you want to follow it around to the right. And just ahead of you, you're going to see another orange orb. Um, you can shine your light on it now if you want to. We're not going to use it just yet though. We want to take the left vine and go up. Follow this up until you find the next collectible. Now this collectible is going to give you two achievements Percentages that you need. Point. So we've got one for completing the evaluator's timeline. So this is the alien timeline, and that is what they're called, I believe. And the second achievement for finding every collectible within level two. We now just need to get out of this level. So now that you've got that collectible, turn around and go down the vine. And about halfway along this vine, you want to look down and you're going to see a f uh, one of those things in the distance. Um, for some reason, it didn't work for me, but continue forward and you want to make your way down the vine that is on the left hand side and keep following it to the bottom. And as you get down there, you'll be able to use the, uh, the orange orb thing that I was not able to use a second ago. So make your way over the top, a little trip. Once you've done that, you want to follow the vine across to the other side. Once you're on the other side and the game is rendered in, you want to keep following the corridor all the way down to the other end. Is this it? And the exit? this is kind of like the final section at this level. Take a right when you can, and you want to use the gas from the plant to no. get a clue from where Hank went in a little cutscene. John, listen to me. This is the exit. Know that I didn't want to put your life at risk, but I had no choice. Because if you are here, plan A failed, and I didn't get to the border in time. It means I'm counting on you to get the word out. Tell people about the aliens and the government cover-up. Now don't let me down, son. 
This is too important. But there's nothing here. This hallway is closed off. Oh, no. <sighs> Don't tell me. I followed you all this way to a closed door? The exit you used, and then was sealed up after you left? Fuck. Fuck! Fuck! <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. Calm down, John. <sighs> you just have to keep going. Find something. Find... Find another exit. And now that you've done that, there's a little purple orby thing just to your right. Pick that one up. That is going to be a key to open up Take the next door me. for the next area. So that is just actually behind you. So turn around. Take a quick right. Plug that in. And that door will open up. Surely not. Once you shine your light on it, that is. Now be careful, there's quite a few aliens in this next section. This fella just looks forward all the time, so you're okay just to walk right behind him. But just don't shine your flashlight into his field of vision. Make your way across the other side of the room, you're going to find a tunnel, and it's quite long, but just follow this all the way to the end. This is definitely one of the more complicated sections of the game, so just go with pace. Um, but effectively, we need to navigate our way down to a doorway on the other side of the room. I must have triggered these machines in the control room. Sounds like they're tunneling through stone. Where are they trying to go? I can see light. A tunnel, maybe? That could be my exit. No, it's no good. I'm crushed if I go in. The tunnel's flooded with some sort of gas. Unless I stop those tendrils and clear the tunnel. I, I can see four panels scattered across this chamber. God, I need to be careful. This close to escaping this place. Okay, once you're back in control, we want to make our way to these two consoles just here. And you're going to find this tablet in the one on the right, which you're going to want to pick up. And that's going to turn off a part of the machine. Shine your flashlight on the orb ahead. And then you can actually turn around and shine your. Sorry, there's another tablet to grab just here or inspect. Um, shine your flashlight on the other orb at the other end of the room. Now we want to follow this vine to the very end. We've got to find two more of these tablets. They're in this area and they're protected by aliens. Shine your flashlight on the other um, vine as you're kind of going through this area. And at the end of this vine you're going to find one of those purple pods that you need to pick up to open a door. Got it. Because we need to change the walking pattern of some of the aliens that are in this area. Now use these vines to your advantage in this section to get away from the aliens. They cannot go on those vines. Head down, and then once we get to this ribcage-like thing, look up and you want to shine your light on the orb just to blow the ledge. Make your way back up. And as you come up to the very top, we want to stay on the right-hand side. And you want to go all the way up the slope to the door. And you want to open that up with your flashlight. Once you've done that, make your way onto the vine, the left one, and what you'll eventually notice is that the alien will move off of that vine, uh, sorry, that section, and it will go up the slope towards the other door, giving you the opportunity to grab the tablet that is on the console. So once he's out, make your way down, 
and then you're going to find the opportunity to grab it. So grab it. You have to shine your light on it sometimes for it to work though. Once you have it, get back onto the vine just to stay out of sight of the alien. Uh, we're near going to need to go across to the other side now. So on the other side of this room is a similar setup, uh, but there's the other tablet that we need to get our hands on. So walk slowly across the vines, watching out for the aliens as you go. Uh, in this one, you can literally, because you brought that ledge out from a second ago, you can just walk straight across to the other side. As you see, I actually get spotted by the alien, but they can't get me because I'm on the vine. Now that you're on this other side, we want to make our way down. And we want to look to the right of this big green glob and we want to shine our light on the orange orb at the end. For some reason for me it doesn't seem to work. There we go. That's going to open up a path to the other side if we need it. Uh, make your way back up. And you'll see the alien still down at the other end blocking that tablet. But make your way up the slope to the door and you want to place in the purple orb that you found earlier. And you want to open up the door and this is going to cause the alien at the end of the row to change his movement pattern. So shine your light on the door but back away from it just in case. Make your way down. He's seen that it's now open and you want to make your way onto the vine. And once the all clear is, we're going to go in and grab the uh, the tablet from his console. Now apologies for the dodgy cut, it's because I actually fell off the vine. Um, but once that other alien has moved out of the way, you want to make your way down that vine and back to the slopes that we were at earlier. And you want to take a right, so looking at that door, uh, turn around and you want to make your way down the slope and at the bottom of the slope you're going to see a, another console and we're going to want to grab that off of that console once you've done this you want to make your way back up the ramp that you just came from well done, John. and I take a right here and I go across the vine to the side because the alien is coming down the hill and as I make my way across to this other side I'm able to jump on the vine on the right to avoid any other aliens. And then I follow this vine up to the very top. Take an immediate left and you want to continue up that vine. And then once you get to the top, you'll be back at the consoles from earlier. For some reason, I decided to take a quick coffee break. But yeah, keep following the vine down. And once you get to the consoles just here, you'll want to look at the one on the left and you'll want to take out the tablet from now. there. And that's going to stop all of the drilling. Once you've done that, you want to make your way back to the vine that is on the right hand side and you want to follow it all the way across. And when you get to the other side, make your way down to the bottom of the ramp. Once you're at the bottom of the ramp, this will finish level number two for you. I can't take much more. <coughs> I don't know where this goes, but anywhere will be better than here. Okay, so we're now kicking off level number three and pretty much at the start of this level um, you need to walk forward and just follow around until you reach some stairs. 
So That's once true. you hit these stairs, take a right. left, and we're going to go now. into the the room just over That's here. We're now in the Research Institute, the research institute which you saw on the here? road on the way in to this area. But as you come in, in this room, you need to be careful. There is a guy in here. I accidentally grabbed his attention, but closed the door on him. So once he's gone and he's out of the way, you want to enter this room and then stick to the back wall. You can see he's over in the far corner just over there. I got his attention by shining my flashlight into his field of vision by accident. But make your way up these stairs and as you get to the top, take a right. And then you want to enter the door on the end and it's going to trigger a small cutscene once you walk in and look at the equipment at the back. Is that dad? It is. All this equipment. What were they doing here? What was that? No, they followed me. Once that cutscene's over, we need to exit out. The guy who was greasing me earlier has uh, met his maker. Make your way down the stairs, and you want to take a left, and we want to exit back out of the room we came in. That's the same way we came in. Head up over the stairs, and then down the other side, and we're going to follow this blood trail on the floor until we reach this body. Uh, give it a quick inspect so the aliens have been released. Head down the stairs, and the first thing that we need to do is we need to turn to the right, and we want to inspect the door just over here to get the fact like that it's it locked. Storage room. Once you've done that, make your way over to the door that was at the bottom of the stairs. We want to open this one up. Once that's open, we want to head on inside, take a quick right, and straight through the door on the opposite side. As you enter this one, take a left, and we want to go down to the end of the corridor and enter the first door that we find on the left-hand side. As we come into here, we are going to make our way to the back of the room and you'll see that there is a desk drawer that is already open. We're going to need to grab what is in there. And I believe that is a key. A key? But the which door? And before we exit this room, we want to turn around and on the shelf just behind you is your next These set of documents. documents. You want to pick that up and give that a give that a quick read. Once we've done that, we want to exit the room and take a right. And as we're going down that corridor, we want to enter the door that is on our left-hand side. Now that we're in this room, we want to make our way over to the desk. And on top of the desk, you're going to find your next collectible, which is a film reel. And just to the right, with the body on the floor, you will find a key that you also need to pick up. Now once we've got that key, before we proceed any further forward, we're going to need to backtrack a little bit for a collectible that we could not get to earlier. So exit out of this room through the door that you entered through. As you've exited that room, you want to take a quick left, follow the corridor down to the end and, ex and exit via the door on the right. Go through the broken wall and make your way down to the end and open the door beneath the stairs. Once you've done that, make your way in. And as you come into this area, on the back left shelf, you're going to find your next collectible. This image is important. Okay, now that you've got that collectible, I recommend having a quick inspect of the gas because it gives you a little bit more of the story background. But once you're done, exit out this room. Head via the door next to the broken hole in the wall, or you can go through the hole. And you want to enter the corridor opposite. Take a left and then enter the first door on the right. Turn right automatically as you enter in, and you want to open up the door that is on the right-hand side. Once you've done that, we want to walk on in. 
we want to follow this corridor around and we're going to go down at the stairs and you're going to find a guy who looks a bit mushed up um, click on him and it's going to give you a bit of clue and a bit of context and it's going to tell you that there's an eye on the floor you can see this just to the left and you will want to pick that eye up and put it in your pocket so look to the left pick it up and you're going to need that for later Taking this with me. Now that you've done that, we are going to enter the next room. And you can do that by just walking over the door if you want. And at the end of the door, you're going to find another body underneath this trolley. That person has a keycard. We're going to need that keycard for later on to access one of the security rooms. The security pass. So the next area actually requires us to go into three very secure rooms. In each room, there is a switch that we're going to need to hit to allow us to progress forward. So once you've done that, you want to follow the tracks down until the end and take a right. Now this room is actually quite dark in the beginning. Uh, we're going to need to turn the generator on. There is an alien in here. So duck down and you want to look to your right and you'll see the creature uh, across in the distance. We're going to need to make uh, the way to the back of this area. So time it right and you want to edge along this wall on the right hand side or through the middle depending on how lucky you get. But once the creature is out of your way and you have a clear path forward, make your way down to where it is and eventually it's going to move and you're going to need to turn on the generator that is on the right hand side. But for now, sneak your way across to the other side of the room. I'm okay. Now once you're at this end, you're going to see this very large generator and you're going to want to make your way around to the other side of this generator and as you come around you're going to find a switch and that's going to restore a large chunk of the power that's in this room it's going to make it a little bit more easier to navigate as well as you can see it lights the place up brilliantly now this isn't going to address the alien issue in the room he's still here so we're going to need to sneak around him but we're going to need to make our way to the right hand side of this room and we're going to need to follow the walls around to get to two of the security rooms that we need to enter. So once you're clear of the alien, follow that room round to the right. Now, using the pillars here, use them as cover uh, to stay out of the line of sight of the alien. Um, they're probably going to help you out the most here. This part is actually quite tricky because it's a small area with not very much to hide behind. And I got caught quite a few times trying to do this in my practice run through. Um, but once he's moving out of the way and started to make his way down the room, 
follow him and you're going to see these panels along the wall that are green and lit up. The first one is going to require you to use the eye on it. That's going to open up this room. Once you're in this room, make your way to the back and on the floor, you're going to find a document that you need to pick up. This is another one of your collectibles. And once you've looked at that document, you want to then click on the panel that is on the back wall. And this will start to open one of the three security locks for the door on the end. Now apologies for the cut here, I made a bit of a backtrack, so exit the room and take a left, go around this box just here, it seems to be a solid immovable object, and on the floor by this body you are going to find a keycard, I walked past it earlier, luckily it's not too far away so it's not too much of a bother, um, but once you've got that we want to backtrack, so crouch down and we want to go past the door that we were just in, waiting for the alien to get out of the way first of all. Okay, and as you go around to the right, and as you come up to this wall, you're going to see a panel just ahead of you. Swipe your card that you've just gone and got. Enter the room, and you want to click on the panel on the right-hand side, and that's two of three. This one's. And then from that panel, you want to look to your left, and on the wall, just above the desk, you're going to find another collectible. This one gets you an achievement, and again, it's another Easter egg to a previously produced game from these guys. Okay, so now to get out of here, we want to crouch down and make our way back to the door and actually directly opposite us near enough, you see just to the left over here, there is a door on the other side. Make your way across the other side, past the alien, I have some good timing here, thank thankfully. Uh, and as you come up to this door, you want to swipe your keycard, that's going to open this one up. The pass works. And then in here, you want to make your way in. Activate panel number three, which is just on your left here to go and that's it for collectibles in this room we want to exit out now we need to make our way out to the left make sure the alien isn't present and make your way all the way down to the end I sneak past the alien here in a edgy manner uh, but make your way to that console in that back corner and you want to give this one a push and that's gonna open up that big this door do it. and it's gonna trick a cutscene into answers, happening maybe. coming this way okay and then you're gonna have a prompt when the aliens actually seen you again press a to close the door once you've done that that is gonna bag you the achievement called first blood which is factually inaccurate for my playthrough I died a lot of other times they drew first blood so that's it and then a cutscene is going to play out for a little bit where what is this Looks like part of the alien ship. What is this doing here? Are we underwater? This. Th this is a bomb. They want to blow up this facility. Why? Hank, uh, what have you led me into? It says 0700 AM. Morning. I don't have much time left. Must find a way out of this freaking mess. We're underground, underneath the lake somewhere. I need to get away from this chamber, then make it to the surface somehow. Like, about now. <laughs> Once you're back in control, you want to make your way to the generator in this room, and you want to trigger that out. So it's the big thing in the middle of the room. You can't miss it. Hit the switch and that's going to boot everything up and bring everything back to life and the plant vines are going to start breaking out of the glass. Make your way upstairs, any side doesn't matter. Start making your way around the glass and you're going to see these orange orbs. You want to focus your flashlight on them to trigger out more vines. Keep following it to the left and then you want to do the same again to this one. 
and now we need to make our way around to the far left hand side and we're going to climb up the vine and follow it into the lighting rig above. Uh, once you're up here go with caution because you can fall quite easily and if you fall you die and it resets everything uh, but you need to interfere with this light down here flip it and that's going to turn the last light into the right place that you need and it's going to make a vine appear out and crash through the wall once you've done that you want to back up to the other vine and then you'll make your way back down the vine to the walkway Once you're on to the walkway, you want to make your way down to the very end. You'll see a big vine has kind of crashed through the floor. Make your way down the stairs. And as you come down the stairs, you want to head forward. And then there's a newly formed vine at the back left of this room. You want to make your way up to the top of this vine. And then you're going to enter the grate that's at the top. Once you're in, you want to push the button on the left hand side and that is going to trigger some kind of weird lift thingy to appear in front of you. Once it's there, you want to exit out and stand on top of that. Look to the right when you also get off of the thing, if you can get off of it, and you want to focus your light onto the vine below. That's going to spring up a vine that you can climb down to the bottom. So hop off this weird crate like thing make your way down the vine and this time you want to go to the left when you get off so follow the room to the left around and there was a door that was previously locked earlier that you would not have been able to get through but it's now been busted open and you can go out that door so follow this around to the very end the alien's gone because you squished him crouch under this vine just here and then you want to stand up and make your way to the very end of this hallway. to see if my father was okay, but it's been one disaster after the next. God knows where Hank is now. What his big plan is. It's too much. I'm sick, and tired. I have to go on. I can't just lay down and die now, can I? Come on, John. Now you're going to find yourself in a room chock full of gas, but we're going to get some collectibles in this area, so this is good news. Now, head to the left, you're going to open up this box that is just on the floor, um, behind the gas barrels in the back left corner. Open this one up, and you're going to find the third Easter egg card, so for something called the True Tales, I can't read that properly. Um, but it's going to give you an achievement for finding the reference to one of the old projects that they had. Following that same left wall, and the first box I looked at, you want to open this one up and you've got a documents collectible inside. And once you've got that, you want to make the way up the stairs just in front of you. And at the top, there are some boxes you're going to need to open there. So you don't need to open the first box, just open the second one and you'll actually find a wrench inside which we're going to need to progress forward in the game. Uh, and I open up the third one just for good luck anyway. Um, once you've done that, make your way down the stairs. And on the left hand, say the right hand side of the room, there is a bolted shut door. Use your wrench on both of the bolts and that's going to cause the girder to fall off. Once you've done that, you want to go through that door. This is going to trigger a cutscene. Just follow along what the cutscene tells you to do. Shit! Dad! You're here! I I found you! Yes, my boy. It's me. You did great. And followed my big plan. I've got a way out of here. 
and an answer to everything. Son, I'm proud of you. Always have been. Oh. Dad. Come on, son. Let us go fishing. F fishing? Yes, Jonathan. Now put on your hat. Come on now, put it on. Put on your hat, Jonathan. Don't make me come down there. Genic warning. I've been breathing in this stuff for hours now. The ship, the aliens. Dad, you were there too. Right? Dad? Okay, now that we've done that and that cutscene is over, we're going to need to push on. So make our way forward and enter the first door on the right. Enter this area and you can see some office cubicles. Make your way to the very last one on the right hand side and you can see some fella that is pretty much knocked out on the floor. Next to him is a wallet. You want to spin that around and on the back of that key, uh, wallet is a key and we're going to want to take that with us. Next up we've got to grab a collectible. So once we have the, uh, the wallet key, we're going to make our way around to the other cubicle blocks on the other side of this room. After we're done talking. What's this? A key. Making a note of it in my journal. Along with all the rest. So exit out of the cubicle and take two rights. And as you come to the end cubicle, you want to look in on the right hand side. And on top of the cabinet, you're going to find your These next document. important information. And now our next part requires some stealth that can be a bit of a pain, um, but nonetheless it's still relatively straightforward. Okay, so to keep going, um, so once you've read your document and done whatever you want to do, um, exit out of the room and we're going to make our way to the right and there is a door on the right hand side that we can now open up, we've got the key. I was quite lucky, the fella was stood right behind it, so I decided to make a run for it. So I took the left, and I followed around, but if you have to hide here in the cubicles, do not hide near the walls, he can see you through walls for some reason. Make your way to the room at the back, you want to open it up and enter. Oh, I actually died here, so I'm going to cut that out. Whoops. Now follow the corridor to the end once you've freed that guy, and you want to open up the door, and we're going to enter an interrogation room. So. Head straight forward Some to the desk. I close the door just in case. Room? Head straight forward to the desk and you're going to find, on that desk, you're going to find a tape, which Recording is another tape. one of your collectibles. We're nearly done on all of these now, so not much longer left. Um, we've got a few more minutes to go, though. This is Hank. This is Hank Morris. November 11. In the Once you have that, we're now going to look for the That's key card for Hank. So the... to find this, it is literally one, two to the right, so we want to pick up these two key cards just here. Um, but none of them are Hanks. Once you've done that, you want to turn around and look at the cabinet behind you. And you want to open up that cabinet and the Hank related key card is in the top drawer. Now that you have this, we're going to exit out of this room um, past the torture chair. No, uh, I recommend I inspecting that talk to chair it. just for a little bit of story and kind of uh, input from John, uh, but it's not essential. I go over and check it anyway. Someone Once you've done that, to the right of the chair, there is a door that you, you can exit via. Too. And we're now going to go into a room full of jail cells. We want to make our way up the stairs on the left hand side first of all and continue down to the very end. And on the very end we're going to find this fuse box. We want to crack that one open and we want to take the fuses out. Turn around and make your way back to the same stairs that you just came up and we want to head back down. At the bottom of those stairs take a left and head over to the cell doors and we want to go between numbers 
two and one. Here you'll find a fuse box. You want to open that up and you want to place the uh, fuses into that one you've just opened up. So between Do cells one and two uh, on the ground floor. Once you've done that, this now allows you to enter the room that is on the left hand side at the very end. When you go in, you're automatically going to get given one of the collectibles and bag yourself some story related achievements. But open to the key panel, click on it, cell number one. Uh, and head on in to it's find Hank. uh Hank. Dad? Dad! No, no! Not after everything I did! Say something! Say something! Oh. No more. This is it. God. I can't go on. I should be running, but. Dad, how did you get here? Why did you call me? Why? Why? <sighs> Another tape. Your last breadcrumb of info? No. This is Hank Morris. November 13th. 1900. I'm out of tape. My thoughts are fuzzy. They caught me just as I was leaving the house. Didn't have the time to call off Jonathan. Secret facility. After all this time, I was right. The Institute is trying to frame me for hacking something environmental system. It's a lie. It's not true. The aliens must have done it. Must have. <coughs> I saw one of the guards typing in their door code. I... I wrote it down here somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. Two days back, they brought in loads of people from village. I saw it through the window. There were people in hazmat suits. What's happening? Interrogations were rough. <coughs> I feel a bit weird. Ever since I escaped the alien ship, my vision is going all blurry. I, <coughs> I think I'm sick. I inhaled too much of those spores. Something, something is going on outside. There were sirens this morning. They started evacuating people. Then I heard, I heard gunshots. Lots of them. Now it's silent. I, I'm cold. Well, Will my boy come for me? Um, how to take? <sighs> the plants he researched ended up killing him. He's dead. All of this is for nothing. Unless, unless I get away, get the word out, tell people what happened here. If I can make sense of it, that bomb could go off any minute now. I, I don't, I don't have the time to stay here. He said. Okay, so you should bag yourself two achievements. One for getting all of Hank's related collectibles and for finding Hank himself. Once the cutscene's over, you want to inspect the coffee mug that is on his shelf and you want to look inside and it's going to give you a key code. This is your path Just out of this crazy place. You wrote down. So take note, the character will write it down automatically anyway. Once you've done that, you want to turn around and you'll want to exit out of the door. Take a left and make your way down to the very far end of the corridor. And as you reach the end of that corridor, 
On the right hand side there's going to be a key panel for the last door. Use that key panel and that's going to open that up. Enter this room and you want to make your way up the stairs. Now it's going to get a bit crazy with the stealth here. Um, it's probably the, I'd say the busiest area in the game but nonetheless it's not too bad. You may fail a few times but just pace yourself. So make your way up to the top and open up the door that's in front of you and enter this room here. So keeping an eye out for the guards in this area, you want to make your way to the cubicles that is straight ahead of you. Enter the cubicle on the right. And as you enter this cubicle, you want to shine your flashlight around. And on top of the desk in the left hand corner, you're going to find your next document. And then we've got one more to go all together. This is Hank Morris. November. So again, being cautious of the guards in the area, make your way to the cubicle exit. They are patrolling around, um, but we'll be able to sneak past them quite easily. We need to head to the right which is where the collectible is. So once the opportunity arises and this dude here is out of the way, um, exit out of the actual cubicle, take a right and make your way to the back left of this room next to this very large symbol and enter the first cubicle that you see. As you enter here, you wanna get out your flashlight again and you'll want to check around, say it's on the left hand side next to the fax machine. That is your final collectible of the game. This will bag you all of the achievements for the collectibles, all of the achievements related to that timeline and all of the achievements related to the level collectibles. So you'll bag yourself three all in one hit right here. It's a good number and lots of G for you. So the last thing to do now is to escape. Um, so once again, paying attention to the guards that are in the area, you don't want to get caught, but we want to make our way out of that cubicle and straight to the opposite side. And you want to keep going, stay low to the ground, avoid having your flashlight out just so People that you don't cross paths of their here. field of vision. As you get into this area, you want to take a left and you want to make your way up the stairs. Now I had a moment very weird here where in a previous playthrough where the guy was coming down the stairs at the same time, I just stayed crouched and he didn't see me. So if that happens to you, it's possible. This place has been evacuated. Uh, but keep following the corridor around. And as you get to the left, you want to make your way up to the top. And you're going to be in a room full of more guards. The objective of this room is to make it to the very end and use the lift that is the very end of the area. So my guy, luckily enough, he goes to the far right. So I take the opportunity and I go left. Depends, doesn't really matter which way you go, the, the outcome is the same. Uh, but make your way down to the that lift that is this, just, just front for what's here. Downstairs. Again, don't get caught. Not even all their workers knew. Hit the button on the lift and that's going to bring it down for you. And once it's down, head on in and you want to turn around to the right and automatically just spam the button so that you can get out of there. That is the last self sequence of the game. How that last guy did not see me shine that flashlight out of that <laughs> lift, I have no idea. Oh, I can't believe I made it. <sighs> the elevator will bring me topside. <sighs> when the building blows, it's taking all those bastards with it. <sighs> I could steal a car or hitchhike out of here. I've gotten this far, haven't I? I'll bring out the truth, Hank. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, so now you're exiting this place. Finally, head down the stairs and you want to go out the front door. Um, you actually get to decide your ending. So um, I'll leave that up to you. There's no specific achievement linked to which ending you choose. Um, I just opt for the uh, ending of not covering up the truth or backing away from it. Um, but this is now the end of the game. You should have every achievement if you've been following along, you found every collectible. I've been Jaskid from the Achievement Squad. If you've liked this video, please drop us a like, comment and subscribe and happy hunting. Stand up. Uh, something 
things moving in my chest. A car. Stop. Please. Oh my god! It's a man, Noah! He must have survived the explosion. Quickly, call the emergency number! Sir, stay with us. You're going this to make it. This is Noah Veldman. Okay? I'm at the explosion site god, in Greenland. Do? There's a man here. He's heavily wounded. I failed him. Yes. Again. <laughs> Journal. Okay, I'll hold. Take my journal. Well, the man looks like he's in bad shape. Of course, of course. Of Calm down. Noah. Noah. His breathing is erratic. We have to do something. Take the journal. Something's, something's growing out of his mouth. Noah. Noah. than a week, and I can't stop thinking about his journal. I've got so many questions. Like, what kind of experiments did they do at that research institute? What role did his father, this Hank Morris, play in all of this? And these pictures of aliens and strange plants. Is it even possible to make this stuff up? The truth could be hidden within these pages. to know about this.